Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I am here with Glenn and we're not at my house. We're actually in his house and the reason why we're here is because we've been talking about this for a while. Um, since you are the whitest man I know from Thai... Titusville. Titusville? Titusville, Florida. Titusville, Florida. Which he was telling me more about it. It actually is like an a big city. We've just never heard of it, but it's there. It's not um, big, but it's like a city-ish town. A city-ish. <laughs> it's on the but, border. It's on the cusp of greatness. The cusp. Got it. Um, since you're one of the whitest people I know, you barely know Spanish, I thought it would be fun to somewhat turn you Cuban. Because I'm half Cuban, half Costa Rican. So I, I just, I mean, this is more for me. I just think this is going to be fun. So, what we're gonna do first is I am going the to. Only thing I, the only thing I really know is. Hola, que hola, hola. Que hola. Oh, 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 I just do it all back around. Do you know how to win an argument? No. You just have to be the loudest. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if what you're saying makes sense. But if you're the loudest person in the argument, you win. It explains a lot from like the. So the first thing that I'm going to do with Glenn is I'm going to be saying some Spanish words to him. You have to repeat it and then you have to tell me what you think they mean. And then I'll tell you what they mean. After that, um, I have this here. I brought a coffee maker. You're going to learn how to do a colada today. A proper colada. No, I don't know how to do the whole sugar thing, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna learn how to do one today. And I brought a small one because you're not ready for... I'm ready for the big daddy. You're not ready for the... So we're gonna start you off easy today. And then, um, to be honest, I'd love to make this a series, but we're just gonna start with those two things today. We're gonna learn Spanish and we're going to make coffee. Alright. Before we start, I'm gonna need you to kind of change your outfit because we need to prepare the environment, we need to prepare the way that you feel, the way that you look, so you feel and look like a Hispanic. Okay, so you ready? We're gonna do this. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, <laughs> what just happened? You look great. What? Whoa, what, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> you look great. So, I'm gonna start you off with the first couple words. The first one is gringo, which I'm assuming you know what it means. I've heard it before. Have people yelled that at you before? I feel, like, I feel like it's been directed towards me before. What can you say, gringo? Gringo. Okay. That's fine. I see that. Okay. So you can't do the thing that. You can't. <laughs> what are you doing? The gringo. Gringo. Green, green. That's fine. Gringo. It means white person. Gringo. So it's okay. That's what this video is about. So. Okay. Um, the next one, you said it already, it's acere. Acere! Ah, there you go. It basically means like, oh, homie, okay. what's up, yo, acere. So that's it. Now I'm going to give you a couple sentences. Okay. So you're going to try to repeat them as best as you can. Dios me hizo muy alto. I can't remember the Dios. I just remember Dios. Alto. Dios me hizo. Dios me hizo muy alto. Muy alto. Right. Dios me hizo muy alto. Uh -huh, that pretty much means God made me too tall. Oh, that's not Dios true. me hizo muy alto. No, you could be taller. Alright, okay. To everybody else. This is very important. This is really important on trips, on pretty much wherever you go. It's so important that you learn this. And I think you know the last word. It's muy importante. Necesito usar el baño. El baño. There you go! Yes. You know what it means. That was one of the first things that I, I learned real quick. Yeah. That's, it'll, it'll get you. Yes. You, you learn by force. It's just baño. Baño. Baño, por favor. Baño. <laughs> this is actually my favorite sentence. This is something that's very, very common to say. Soy el mejor pianista en la iglesia. 
Soy mejor, el mejor, el mejor pianista, pianista en la iglesia. En la iglesia. That means I'm the best pianist in the church. No, you're not. I no, am. you are. That's right. Exactly. Not this guy. <laughs> so the other one is, I'm using this. I translated this because we both like Parks and Rec, nice. and this is from Parks and Rec. Nice. So it's, trátate a ti mismo. Trata, I don't know that word. Trátate a mí mismo. A ti mismo. A ti. To you also. Mm -hmm. Trátate. I don't know what that first word is. It means treat yourself. <laughs> treat yourself. Yes. Has visto a mis hijas. Visto a mis hijas. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the first part is. Has visto, visto is yes, to looking. see. Okay. Has, has, have you seen my girls? Okay. Have you seen my girls? Oh, I should have heard that. <laughs> At church during the 11 a.m. I don't miss that. We see us. Write that down. <laughs> as we still, as we see <laughs> All right, so those are a couple of words. Um, next time we're here, I'll probably show you some more. But I need coffee ASAP. I don't know if you... I don't know if I'm going to release this before this video or after this video, but I recorded um, pretty much a whole afternoon hanging out with Glenn and his girls. I was here for one hour and I'm exhausted. So I really need that coffee. It's just tired as like the normal. Oh, and this couch like sucked me in. Like I was about to pass out here. He's the best. Um, so we're going to go into the kitchen and I'm going to show you how to do the cola there he's he's already he's feeling it this that's it so oh, na, na, oh, na, na. Ah. Just cleaning this for my wife <laughs> so i don't embarrass her so i'm just gonna explain this to you one time oh no you're on oh, you your have own. to help no you have to help me the whole time you can't mess this up <laughs> all right I feel the power through the hat through the the way I made it. Pockety shirt thing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, this three pieces. There seems to be a ring that. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like this has been used before. Okay. And then coffee goes in. Sorry. <laughs> That's really strong. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. Do I fill it up? Or were you allowed to tell me? I don't remember. We're gonna fill it up. I don't know if this just makes it stronger, but... Pastor Frank, if you're watching, pray for me, please. Okay, that's enough. Let me stop you right that's there. That's enough? Okay, okay. Yes. All right, thank you. Thank God. <laughs> All right, so how do I know if it's ready? Is it like... It'll, it'll make, it'll make sounds. You'll start hearing... Make sounds? Mm-hmm. Like it... Like a whistle or like it starts playing like Guantanamera or Guantanamera. something? Guantanamera. Like, it'll, it'll be the melody. It's, it's happening. Can I open it? Is it going to mess it up? There's coffee in there. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> okay, I actually almost messed up the pour there. All right, we're good. Ruining the presentation. Ow. That's fine. It's all right. It's so hot. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. It smells terrible. Yep. Yeah. Smoking. It's not good. How is it? It tastes good. Okay. It's uh, it's it's fine. I burnt it. it no, it's I fine. It. It's, I burnt it. It's burnt. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really a coffee fan. <laughs> It'll wake you up though. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Glenn, thank you so much for allowing me to do this. And hopefully we will do more series like this in the future. 
And if there's anything that you guys want to see from Glenn on my channel, or if there's any questions that you have for him, please let us know in the comments below. We'll be checking them out. And is there anything that you want to say? This is this is my one of my favorite videos I've done with you so far. Why don't you say something in Spanish? Remember to like and subscribe and share with a friend and we'll see you on the next video. Dios te bendiga. Amen. Yes. <laughs>